My name is Andy Tadsall. I'm an information specialist based at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. And this is a very short series of videos called App Hacks. The purpose of this video is to help students from uh, medical and health settings and, and also professionals to get more out of their mobile devices. Many will have tablet devices like this and it's to show you how to kind of get a little bit more use out of them. So this next app I'm going to show you is the Medicines Compendium app and uh, it's four, £4.99 via um, Apple or via the uh, Google Play Store and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down and show you a bit more of what this app can do. So this is Medicines Compendium UK, it's done by Unbound Medicine and in here I can search by uh, ingredients, you can see on the left hand side there is instructions here, very straightforward. I can search by ingredients, if you know the ingredients. I can search by brand medicines, and I can search by medicines by company. So we'll go for brand medicines. So if I just click that, it brings me a huge list. You can see here, I'm just scrolling down A, and there are literally hundreds of uh, medicines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search. I'm gonna type in P, because I wanna go down to P, P, A, N, and there we go, I'm going to go for Panadol. So I shall click on Panadol and it will bring me the medicines that are under the Panadol uh, brand, the uh, name by that such. So I'm going to click on Panadol um, Advanced 500 milligrams tablets, click on that. And then this brings me up all the information here. I've got it all here. Uh, and as you can see, as I scroll down, you'll see that little arrow, that little tick, sorry, and the menu on the left hand side change to reflect where I am. If I want to jump around, so let's jump to undesirable effects, that will take me to the undesirable effects and it shows me again what kind of part of the body system it affects and what the effect is. Um, and you can see it's very comprehensive, I can look at shelf life, click on shelf life and it will bring me the shelf life 36 months for that particular medicine. If it's one that I want to save as a favourite, um, there's a little kind of star here in the top right hand corner, if I tick that. That will now save as a favourite if I go back and back again. Or I can just do the home button. There's a home button uh, just there on the top, a little house. Click that, takes me back. And let's go for medicines by company. So in here, again, I can look through all the various uh, medicines. So what we'll do is we'll look at Novartis Pharmaceuticals. Click on there. And in here, you can see the medicines that uh, are, are produced by Novartis. So We'll look at the Glyvec tablets, like so. And again, you can see I can go through and I can look at various things. Click the, the star button to favorite it, bookmark it. Go back, or again go to home. And in here I can now go to my favorites and you'll see that I've got the Glyvec tablets and I've got the Panadol Advanced. So if there's particular tablets that you're referring to um, uh, as part of your study and learning um, within, within a medical school, then you can uh, save the favourites and, and check with those. So if I go back to the index, um, I, I, I can just kind of search again as I so wish. So there's a lot of um, useful information on here and there's information about the actual app. If I click on that, it tells you who uh, is behind the app and um, it's important to kind of make sure that apps like this are updated regularly to be aware of it because um, obviously uh, medicines change, they change name, uh, new medicines appear on on uh, the market, so it's important to make sure that an app like this um, is updated regularly um, to make sure that the information that you're accessing from it is accurate and correct. Um, and again, I can kind of drill down, I can look at the actual publisher and I can look at notes and disclaimers, so um, it may be worth reading that as well with something as important as medicines. So it's a useful app. In the top left hand corner I've got a little one, a little red one, and that is actually an indication that I need to update the information on here. So it's important again to always to make sure you do that. So that's Medicines Compendium at UK.